So after we have successfully installed Visual Studio, let's search if we can use it and run SSIS. So this is the home screen. We'll click on continue without code. File, new project. And as you can see, it gives options like ASP.NET, Azure, Python, Web. Let's search if we got SSIS. And still, it's not there. So the reason is um, SSIS is supposed to be installed separately through extensions. So I'll tell you how to do that. First, we'll go to extensions. Let me close it first. Manage extensions. Then Studio Marketplace. Here we can search for SSIS or integration. So as we can see, there's a extension for SQL Server Integration Services from Microsoft. So it's downloaded. It's around 434 MB installation. So it's going to take some time. So as you can see, the extension is downloaded. I'll run it as an administrator. Select the language. Select next and install. Now it's showing before it could proceed, we have to close the build applications. So what's that? It's nothing but the Microsoft Visual Studio that we have opened here. So let's close it. And then try again. It's just still showing the error that there's one process which is performance Watson 2. So let's close it. I'm closing all the applications and then we'll start again. Let's try it one more time. So we are running this data tools integration services. So it says install this product to the Visual Studio instance 2019. And it started downloading. So the packages are getting loaded. It's going to take some time. It's going to take just a couple of more minutes. It's almost here. Let's give it some more time. So as you can see, uh, SQL Server Integration Services project, this extension has been successfully installed. And it says all specified components have been installed successfully. So let's close it and see if same is visible in Visual Studio as well. So let's open Visual Studio again. Click on continue without code. File, new project. And let's search for SSIS. Now, as you can see, this time we got a integration service project. So that means SSIS extension is successfully added to the Visual Studio. So we can give it any name, for example, first project. And then click create. Now we have got the first SSIS project created in the system. As you can see, a project has different modules like project parameters, connection managers, SSIS packages, package parts, miscellaneous. Out of all this, right now, we'll explore them in details in further sections. But right now, let's focus on the package.dtsx. Now, 
Once we are working on a package, a DTSX module, you will see there are five tabs here. Control flow, data flow, parameters, event handlers, and package explorer. And please note that on the left side, we have got SSIS toolbox. And the menu is different for each of the tabs. Like control flow, we have data flow task, execute SQL task, and many other systems. While data flow has a very different set of commands destination assistant source assistant aggregate parameters will have everything blank while event handlers will have very limited set so we'll now dig into each one of them and see how actual SSI project can be created with a working example so see you in the next video thank you